Suppose I want to match either author phone or author email. Both phone and email are five letters, so I could use a dot, a wildcard character, to match either. So I can say grep author underscore dot 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 pfif validator dot py. Notice that it matched the closing quote of author name as well. So this wasn't very precise. To get better, we would need to do something like grep author underscore dot 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 quote pfif validator dot py. And you can see this did what we want. It's pretty common with regular expressions to have to include some extra stuff around the thing that you want to match in order to get only what you want to match. Like here, we had to add the extra quote in order to exclude anything that was just author name. Also, you'll notice I used double quotes around the string. That was because I wanted to include a single quote inside of the string. Usually, though, you won't just use a dot on its own. It gets a lot more useful when you can repeat it. Let's say I want to grep for all strings. I can do this with grep single quote dot star single quote all inside of quotes. I'm putting all of this inside of quotes because I want the regular expression engine, I want grep to see the single quote. And if I put the whole thing just in single quotes, then my shell would treat those single quotes as its own thing, and it would just give grep the dot star. So you can see this mostly has strings, but this isn't very precise either. You can see on this line, for instance, there are two strings on the same line, but it considers the whole thing as one regular expression match, including the words and and tag here, which are not inside of the string. It includes the stuff in between them because the cleany star is greedy, meaning it matches as much as it can. And the string quote, and then all of this as the dot star followed by a closing quote matches. With grep, this doesn't matter a ton because the line either matches or it doesn't, but if you're either outputting only the match or if you're extracting the match in a programming language, this could come back to bite you. The alternative of greedy is lazy, which means that it'll match as little as it can. The lazy version of the cleany star is star question mark. So if we replace this dot star with dot star question mark, you can see that this line looks how we would expect. One thing to note is that the star is zero or more, not one or more. For instance, on this line, you can see that the empty string was matched. If we wanted to exclude the empty string, we could use a plus instead of a star. A plus can also be either greedy or lazy. So if I just replace the star with a plus, then this will be lazy. And you can see this empty string was not matched. 